Hi and welcome back to iPhone Basics, your 10-part series from Butterscotch.com. This is episode number three, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use applications on your iPhone. We'll talk about some basic applications that are included on the iPhone 3G, as well as how to add some and move them around as well. Let's get started. I'm at the main screen here with the iPhone 3G, so let's talk about some applications that come with the actual device. Starting with your phone. Down here on the dock is the phone icon and of course the iPhone is a phone. So if I click on this here, let's have a look at what's available. To navigate through the phone, you can go to favorites. These are your favorite people that you like to call often. Recents, people who've called you recently. Contacts, this is access to your contacts list. Keypad, this allows you to manually dial something so I can go 416-555-1212 and I would click call to dial the number. I could also go into my voicemail here. This is visual voicemail. When a voicemail comes in, it gets listed here with the person's name if they're in your contact list. If they're not in your contact list, it just lists their telephone number. To listen, tap, push play, and you can hear my friend Jim there. How are you? Jim calling? Say hello. And, uh, wanna... If I want to call Jim back, I could first kind of push pause, and I could click push back, excuse me, call back, and actually dial Jim. I could do it like that. But I won't do that. I don't want to talk to Jim at the moment. <laughs> okay, so that's the, the phone application. Let's go back to the main screen here. You have a mail application. We'll go into, into more detail around that in another episode. Your iPod, I'm going to click on that. This is for, just like for playing any music or any videos. And I can choose the artists. I can have playlists or I can go into and videos. So here I have movies I've downloaded from iTunes that I've paid for. And these are some of the free podcasts you can get from butterscotch.com, A-list, Lab Rats, Miss Download, The Noob, stuff like that. And if I click more, there's all kinds of other options there. To play a song, simply push songs. Choose a song, and it will start to play. Push pause, push play. Push pause, go to the next song in my playlist. And also adjust the volume this way. Let's push pause first. And go back, push pause. And I can go back to my playlist too. So there you go. That's the iPod in brief. And I'm going to go back to the main screen now and point out two other things. The text messaging application here, we'll talk about that, that a little later on. The camera application, if I push the camera application here, we'll go into camera mode. And I would have to tilt it up here and take a picture of whatever happens to be well, it's hard for you guys to see this because, of course, I'm working on a table. But let's maybe take a picture of my hand here. There you go. To take a picture, I'm simply going to push this button here. Let's see if we can do that with two hands here. Click. And there's a picture of my hand. This picture can be found in the Photos application. Let's do that next, which is up here. Click on camera roll, and there's a picture that I just took just now. All right, a couple of things I want to point out before we finish off here. One is the Safari web browser to, to surf the internet. The calendar, of course, days of the week, months, that sort of thing. Maps, this is Google Maps. This is for helping you navigate around your city or your country or your province or your state, depending on where you are. And you can see a varying levels of detail. We'll go into this a little bit later on in other tutorials. And I finally want to point out one other, actually two other things. Number one would be the settings, and we'll talk about the settings in more detail in another tutorial. And also the app store, the application store. Now the application store, 
allows you to download programs from the internet via the iTunes store for either free or for pay. As you can see, free and pay. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in another tutorial. So that is a little bit about applications on the iPhone. Oh, don't forget, notes, calendar, and a whole bunch of others. Anyway, that's it for another edition of the iPhone Basics. Thanks for downloading this or tuning in here on the internet at butterscotch.com. And stay tuned and check out other tutorials in this series from butterscotch.com. I'm Andy Walker. See you next time.